Hello, hello, welcome to my Tuesday video. It's three, three weeks in a row. Um, so, so far this year, so good. I have a little freebie and um, it's thanks to Corey. Um, Corey um, sent me a link to a video she had seen by Seven Plaza um, and Corey asked if I would make her some grids. And I thought um, I would use this as a, a freebie it's quite big and also would use it for my Tuesday's video so um, there is a little cover it just says little book of collage it doesn't have to be collage you don't have to use the cover obviously but I have done several pages of different size grids now they are not on plain white paper um, I have put a kind of um, gray scale paper texture in the back to give it a bit of a vintage feel there is also a plain page so I've printed that onto the back of mine now I think I'm going to do some kind of um, bound journal uh, I might put it through my cinch you could have them landscape or portrait and what I have also done is a little page of different types of prompts what I've done is try to kind of put them into uh, a junk journaly kind of style because what you also might want to do is is cut these out collage on cut them out you might not want them on a page um but we've got lots of prompts there so that's also a page you could probably yep that will fold that will fold so you could turn this into a journal as well if you wanted and let's get on to some collaging so what i'm going to do is very very quickly um, I've cut a couple of sheets of, um, this was from a birthday card envelope, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but um, kind of, uh, I'm going to have to try and keep an eye on this, that it's filming. So I had done a little bit of collaging. I've done some single items, um, which is, it's kind of a, a collage practice, mixing, matching, um, coordinating, contrasting. Um, these pages are really for kind of you could either do teeny tiny real collages or you can use it as collage practice to kind of look at how things work together, which things work together, what textures you want to use as an idea for a collage. Now, I had used a single piece of decorative paper that came in some packaging. I'd used a piece of green fabric and a little green butterfly that came from Witchcraft DD. I'd used a little Tim Holtz stamp that I'd stamped onto a piece of tea dyed paper, a little piece of lace that came from a scarf, and I'd used some text which came from um, one of my kits. Um, so on this page, we've got texture. We've only got six teeny tiny boxes, but we've got texture, we've got colour, we've got coordination. Um, we've got a variety of things such as scrap, fabric, lace, um, digitals, which are these two, stamping. So I was kind of looking um, at how you could use these pages as a way to coordinate and plan maybe a collage. And on here, what I had done is used a piece of packaging, which also came in, it, it was a different print, but very similar packaging. This was scrap papers at the back. So I'd concentrated on using scrap paper from my scrap box. So I'd got this little piece of packaging, a little piece of brown fibery paper, a little piece of old diary paper and a little piece of ledger. And then on top of that, I had used, let me go find the, here we go, find my card again. I'd used some die cuts that I got from Libra Designs by Susan on Etsy. So if you want to look her up, she has fabulous die cuts, saves a lot of time. Um, so I put together this little collage and I'd also done some stamping around my page to make that more interesting. Now this little collage here, I'd concentrated mostly on um, digitals because we'd used a couple of digitals here. I would have liked to have used something black here really, um, but I just pulled out one tin. <laughs> Uh, of toadstools it was my toadstools tin of digitals and also um my another little toadstool 
um, digital that I have. And the only other thing I had used is a little scrap piece of an envelope that came with some stamps in from Mackie Stamps. And I'd popped a little piece of ephemera behind there to show that you could use digitals and use a collage basically as you would a larger journal page. So that was kind of, this was the the, the practice and the planning to, pr to kind of create these two collages. Now, obviously, it didn't go to plan. Still recording, still recording. Not quite sure what happened. So maybe as the collages didn't work on here, we'll kind of work on maybe another one. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. So let's have a little look what we've got on our prompt list. Um, let me just think, what have I got? I'm just looking around my desk. I'm not moving anywhere. Um, okay, I can see some tissue paper. Uh, this is what my beautiful fox was wrapped in. Um, so this is, uh, do I want to work on here or do I want to, because that kind of, they work with that. I think I'm going to put those aside. Let's find another, another something new to collage in. Let's do some, let's do some little collages. Now I'm going to fold this in half because that's how my page is going to be. Oops, I'm not going to fold in half very well. Let's work. I'm going to have it this way up. Let's work on one of these. Now, mini, mini collage. Uh, this is quite, let me tear a little bit off here. I'm going to use that line and cut down there. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going to go with this, but we'll use a piece of that. Now, the this is a piece of the lace that I used on here. It was from a scarf that I got from a charity shop. Let's just chop a piece off. Um, now, do we want the actual lace or do we just want this little chiffon piece underneath? I think we'll use the little bit of lace, possibly. I like the fact that you can see even that tissue paper through that little kind of voil piece on that lace. So we'll use that. Now let's, let me have a little think. I've got two little option pins out here. I've got my butterflies and bugs and transparencies. So let's see. Now already I can see that one's already glued, but we're going to have some tones that would work if we go with, um, let's have a look, we could go contrasting. Or we could, we can match tonally. So I'm going to keep that out. I think I'm going to look at matching tonally on this little collage. Um, sometimes it's quite good to choose how many how many items you want to use in your collage. And we've got this transparency. We've got lots of transparencies in here. Okay, so I've got four things now. I've actually just cut that piece off the transparency because I really like how that kind of works. I am going to ink my butterfly, but I am not going to ink the tissue paper. I'm going to leave that as it is. So with this particular collage, I've looked at matching tones. And then we've got a little bit of contrast in as much as adding the black kind of makes that pop. So it does contrast against um, against the ivory and the cream that we have going on with our lace and tissue paper. So let me just have a little play around with how we could add this to our page. I 
think that was quite a harsh edge on the lace. We've got this kind of block with this little piece of transparency. So I don't think I wanted that where it was. Okay, um, I think I'm going to have some words also. Now I'm going to start by adding this transparency and I'm actually going to glue the grid and add that, which just happened to be the perfect length. Now, add a little bit of glue to the back of my tissue paper. Also a little bit along here. I'll just do the edge of that. Put that down, still filming, still filming, yes. Right. I'm going to add a little bit along here. Add our little piece of lace. That will hold. I'm just having a look on my desk to see if I have any other words to hand. That was the other thing um, in the previous part of the collage. I only used what I had right at hand on my desk. Right, I have a number, actually. That might work. Right. Now, these are the only two things. I actually like the word devil. Kind of again it's got that little bit of contrast with what's going on and it also balances that black okay right Let's stick your butterfly down and now because i have got this black I'm actually wishing, let me just, I'm going to leave that upside down for a second. Right, I'm going to pull my butterfly up. I'm going to ink this yellow one because I now have the black rather than go with coordinating tones. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit more contrast. Right, let's pop him in there. I just think that gives it actually, looks like the butterfly is wearing a crown as well with that lace. Right, so back to my word. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on there now. I mean, collage, it, the beauty about collage is one, you can actually tear things out um, and replace them. But the other thing is you can actually collage over the top if you're not happy with something when you get to the end. So don't think whatever you do is the be all and end all and that has to be that has to be it. You can change things. Now I'm actually really happy with that. It's not a paper collage. We have lots of different materials here. We have tissue paper, we have lace, we have transparency and we have digitals, we have text. We've got that kind of um, pop of black the contrast and also the continuity of tones um, so I'm really happy with that uh, sorry about the previous part of the video but also from this you can see how we have um, a kind of um, how we have kind of used certain elements that we took for this little practice into our little collage so I've used black words text from the same kit and we've used that lace again. So, I, you know, I really um, I really like using collage practice and it's almost like a mood board to put together your collage. So don't think you can't practice or you can't plan in advance as well as being, you know, kind of quite spontaneous and pulling things off and changing them if you want to. I like that. So thank you again for joining me. Sorry about the 
whatever happened there. Because we have this, I think I'd really like to use this on the next collage, um, just to kind of reflect those shapes again in the next collage. I'm not sure if I explained in the little piece of video we still have about the freebie so this freebie is on Kofi. it's not going to be on my website it's going to be on Kofi, and because it is quite a large uh, freebie there's lots of pages it's going to be a pdf now with a pdf because there are no images involved on this the pdf will print perfectly you won't need to worry it's all grayscale and the black lines so hopefully it's not too bad on your ink either. You can lighten your print option. You can print it as a draft on your printer. Um, you can do things to kind of use even less ink than there is involved with it as it is. I hope you like it. I hope you do some collaging. If you do, please share it. My Facebook group is um, in the description box. So come along and join in. We also have a challenge going on every month. Um, and January month, there is also a freebie in the Facebook group for you to use for the January challenge. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Um, I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.